hey everybody welcome back to my channel so in this video i'm gonna be giving you guys my black rice water update and also showing you guys like my current wash day routine which y'all probably already know my wash day routine it's pretty much the same and honestly i could have lasted like a couple more days with this wash and go but i was really really excited to try out these new products so i was just like i'm just gonna go ahead and wash my hair a little bit early because my hair was looking a little matted in the back so i got these products from um briogeo it's the be gentle be kind banana and coconut nourishing superfood shampoo and conditioner like y'all banana and coconut and it's the summertime like I just feel like it's gonna smell so good I was just too excited to even open it and try it out y'all know I also got my black rice water and y'all this has been sitting for two weeks because y'all know I'm supposed to be doing the rice water update with my sister she ain't never came over she said oh I'm on my way over there make some rice water tomorrow night I did that she never came over so it's just been sitting and stinking it don't stink as bad as the white rice but this stuff does stink so I'm gonna be using this for my wash day and then whenever my sister finally comes over here we can just I'm just gonna use the same rice just add some water to it and then ferment it again and then you guys will see her update so I know you guys are waiting for her update on her edges and stuff but it's coming y'all need to I would say spam her Instagram account but her Instagram is private and she just does too much but I'm gonna hit her up and make sure she actually comes you guys but yeah this is my rice water I always put it in a spray bottle it's way easier to apply when it's in a spray bottle and yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and get started on this wash day so this is my hair after i just rinsed it i really need to um install my new shower head in my new place because i i feel like i cannot show y'all me showering while in this new shower it's really weird but this um shampoo is actually pretty liquidy like i was expecting it to be a little bit more thicker but um it still did the job though like it still lathered pretty nice it left my hair super super clean but it wasn't like a squeaky clean which i appreciate because i hate when my scalp is like squeaky clean and my hair feels really really dry like this just cleaned my hair like it didn't give that dry feeling to my hair at all Yeah, I know I like to focus the shampoo on my scalp and basically like scrub all the product buildup and everything out of my scalp. And then I just basically let the soap just run down my hair. So you guys are just going to see me like shampooing my scalp. Y'all probably going to be like, what about the rest of her hair? It's going to get clean, sis. Like as soon as the water runs through, like the rest of my hair is going to get clean. Don't worry. So this is what my hair is looking like after rinsing out the shampoo. Um, like I said earlier, it didn't leave my hair super, super dry, but it also didn't leave my hair like super moisturized either. Like it literally just cleaned my hair like it did what it was supposed to do. So I was not mad about this shampoo at all. And also it is um, sulfate, silicone, and paraben free for the people that care about that. But um, now I'm just going to go ahead and spray my hair down in this black rice water. Literally saturate my whole hair with it. Like I'm going to use every single drop of this black rice water and just make sure my hair is drenched in it and I know y'all see me making faces and stuff but this stuff stinks like oh my gosh it does not smell as bad as white rice because y'all know that white rice water smells like ASS so yeah the black rice water it does stink but it's nothing compared to the white rice water so you will be making faces as you're putting this in your hair for sure So this is what my hair is looking like with just the rice water in it. Y'all can already see my curls are starting to pop and starting to get nice and defined. So you guys know I always shampoo, rinse it out, put in the rice water, and then top it off with the conditioner. So I'm going in with the Be Gentle, Be Kind, Banana Coconut Nourishing Superfood Conditioner. Y'all, this stuff was so thick. And when you read the back of the bottle, it says it's a creamy, smoothie textured conditioner, which they're trying to like make it like tropical, like a smoothie and stuff because it is banana and coconut. But y'all, this thing was so thick. I really hate when companies put these thick products in these little bottles. Like y'all know this needs to be in a jar so I could just scoop it out. But it did smell like heaven. Like if you guys are really into scents like I am, you guys will really love this line because it smells so good. Like it smells just like bananas and coconut. Like it just smells like the summertime. 
so i did really love the conditioner i was very happy that i was able to just finger detangle with it in my hair and it left my hair feeling super soft and the smell is definitely a plus like i really did love this conditioner and even though it was a struggle getting it out of the container, I love thick products like thick conditioners and deep conditioners, like just thick products in general, like my hair usually tends to love. So if you love thick conditioners and stuff, this will definitely be a good plus for you. Plus the smell of it, y'all it smells so good. Like I really cannot explain. It kind of smells like, like a banana pina colada. Like it just smells super fruity and really, really good. And right here you guys can see my curls clumping together all nicely like my hair was loving that conditioner so this is my hair without it and i'm gonna go ahead and put some conditioner on this and detangle it because i try to detangle with rice water and it works pretty good as a detangler but you really need like an actual conditioner to detangle my hair so just applying the conditioner on top and then I'm gonna let it sit. I usually let this stuff sit in my hair for about 10 to 15 minutes. A lot of you guys have been asking me like, do I still do 30 minutes and stuff? And I really, I don't have time. Like Jace is walking now. So I'm always busy with him and I really don't have time to be in the shower as much as I used to. So I literally just put the rice water on my hair. I put the conditioner on top and then I wash my body and however long it takes me to wash my body, especially if I have to shave on top of that, it might take me between like 10 to 15, maybe 20 minutes. So that's kind of how long I let it sit in my hair. I don't do the most and put a cap and everything on anymore. But y'all, that stuff had my hair looking real juicy. My curls were nice and clumped together. My hair was finally detangled because y'all seen how mad it was in the beginning. So this is my hair with just the conditioner in it. And then afterwards, I went ahead and rinsed it out. And these are my results. And yeah, my hair loved that stuff. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.